Yo, what is up, everybody? It is your boy, Aegis, a.k.a. Static Shock. Welcome back to another episode of For Life Means the Podcast, a podcast of encouragement, perspective, and life. I'm very excited for this episode, just like I am every other episode. So I guess I should just stop saying that I'm excited for the episode if it's really just going to be ex- every episode that I'm excited for, because if I'm excited for every episode, that means I'm not excited for other episodes, but I'm always excited. Okay, never mind. Sorry, just thinking too much. You know what happens. You know how it goes. But anyways, welcome back to another episode of For Life Means, the podcast, a podcast of encouragement, perspective, and life. I already did that intro. So anyways, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited for this episode. Uh, I just want to just, just start right here real quick, just to say like a, uh, like a public announcement type of thing. I, uh, I realized... I, I, I do my podcast like every two weeks. And in these two weeks, I realized that I am not respecting this podcast enough to put my full my full uh, effort into it, right? Because just I'm going to expose myself just a little bit. Usually the topics for the podcast usually come the day of, uh, of the recording of the podcast. Like literally, like... Like maybe like an hour before the podcast comes out, I come up with the topic and I record on it. And I feel like for me myself, I feel like I am not respecting this podcast enough. If God is giving me this platform, if God is giving me this purpose, uh, I ought to respect it more. And in that, in, re- in respecting the podcast more and everything else that I do, uh, is just showing God that I, I'm truly grateful for this opportunity and also that I respect um, the plans that he has for my life that I, I actually am actually like serious about it. And so that's just to expose myself real quick. I, I think it's like pretty important that we should expose ourselves sometimes. Expose yourself to yourself. I say that all the time to myself. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just wanted to say that like I'm not I'm gonna stop doing that. So with this with this episode um, I, I did do this. Uh, I came up with the idea. Well, I actually might have came up with the idea a few days ago, but I actually wrote down some notes because uh, sometimes I can just I can just be out there. You know what I'm saying? Like I can just be out there, and I, I don't know. I just want to speak. I just want to treat this podcast with more respect. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And what's that's what that's gonna do really is that the podcasts are gonna go deeper. They're gonna be more focused. They're gonna be more concentrated on the things that I'm really trying to make an impact in. The things that I'm really trying to, the points that I'm really trying to get across. Um, and I think that'll just lead to more uh, abundance of life, to more freedom, and to more um, serious topics. No, not serious topics, but serious uh, uh, reflection. So, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's just get into it. All right, let's just get into it. I also got my coffee right here. You know what I'm saying? Got my coffee, a little ASMR. It actually sounds kind of cool. But, um, yeah, let's just get this episode started, yo. <laughs> Okay, welcome back. I hope you guys like that little that little beat or whatever whatever I play right here. I hope you guys like that because it makes me kind of feel professional. I heard I think I heard uh someone someone does it like that. I was like, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Um yeah, before I get before I get into the meat and potatoes of this uh, podcast, uh for you guys that are watching the video the video format of this podcast. Let me know how you guys like this background stuff that I have in the background. It's kind of, honestly, right now it's kind of cluttered. I got my plant ZZ. Got my plant ZZ right over here. Got some books, some uh, some study material. Got my little uh, um, lightning bolt right here that I got from Tia Willingham. Shout out Tia Willingham. And I got my coffee, of course. Got my light. Probably gonna have to move that light because that light right, no, not that light. 
this light right here is just random. <laughs> but yeah, let me guys let, let let me know how you guys like this stage design. I'm trying to get more like a little bit more professional. You just have some like inter interesting, interesting, interesting things in the background. But yeah, so for this podcast. So as you guys know, I always start this podcast, the topics off with like a little bit of story time. So let me just get into that. So um, I have, I drink, <laughs> I drink a lot of water. I try to, and I try to get people to drink a lot of water also, but I drink a lot of water myself and uh, I usually like get the uh, gallon jugs of water from like Kroger or something. But the other day, I decided to get one of those two gallons or two and a half gallon little drugs, the really big ones. Um, and that, that has like a little spout at the end where you like pull it out and the water comes out. So I got one of those because <clears throat> I just wanted to um, I wanted to stop going to the store as much to fill up on my water. So I got that. And when I got it, I was like how does this thing work because i would pull the spout out and the water would like i would have to really like for real pull it and the water was like not coming out the way that i wanted to and there was like this little tab right there that i had to like i didn't know what to do with it so anyways i was having a bunch of trouble like i was getting frustrated the water was coming out slow and sometimes i would pull the tab too hard and then the water would start like it would come from the actual jug and start spilling on the ground i was having a lot of trouble with that bug like for real for real it was kind of frustrating and <laughs> i got like like maybe a half or three-fourths of the way down that i was finished with it like i was like you know what i i I am fed up with this. I am like I got places to go. This water is coming out slow, and I got places to go. I need this water to come out quick, right now, right now. <laughs> and so I was like, you know what? Let me see if there's like some kind of instructions on this thing on uh, uh, better ways to have this water come out because I am tired of waiting. I am thirsty. I am thirsty, and I gotta wait like forever to, for this water to come out. And so, yeah, I looked on the uh, I looked on the the, the the label for some instructions, and what do you know? <laughs> the instructions were right, right there in front of me. They were, it was right there, and it's like not even like you know how some some products the, the 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 instructions are on the actual product, like it's not a label, but it's like it's like encrypt not encrypted, but. I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is that the instructions are right there in front of me. And I totally, totally ignored the pack, the packaging. All I saw when I first got the bottle was, it says Ozarka. That's all I saw. Didn't see any instructions, wasn't looking for them. But the thing is, I got fed up. And that's what made me look, start looking for answers. Me being fed up, me being annoyed, me wanting wanting something, some kind of progress to happen. I was like, let me see, let me see what's really up because <laughs> let me tell y'all, man. I come on, man. I was tired of it. Let me get some water because I don't oh, water. This is coffee. I was tired of it, man. And so, anyways, the instructions are right there in front of me. All I had to do, literally, all I had to do was two things. Okay, three things, but two things. There is a in the top right corner of the 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 jug. There's a little puncture hole that you're supposed to puncture through. You hit that thing in the hole. You cut this part of the tab off so that it can come. The spout can come out easier. And then when you pull out the spout, the water, man, let me. The water came out so fluid, so fluid. Even though I, even though. I was happy that it came out. I was mad that it took me so long to find the solution. <laughs> oh. oh man, let me tell you, man, I was fed up. And so that's what I want to talk about in this episode. <laughs> Sometimes the answer is right there in front of us. It is right there okay so let me just i'm just, i'm gonna relate this i'm gonna relate this to faith to faith okay so i know that 
there is so much that's going on. <sighs> so much that's going on in the world right now. Things that you already know. I'm not going to even like list them because you already know what's going on. There's so much stuff that's going on. And not only is there stuff like that's going on in the world, but there's stuff that's going on in our own lives and the lives of our friends. There's stuff going on that's that's things that we can't even see, like in the air, the the spirits and stuff. There's a war going on, like the Bible says, of 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 spirit uh, spiritualities. Like there's so much going on that we don't even that that is it's so hard for us to maintain our composure because we are so focused on these other things that are happening. And I just want to say right now that you have right now at least for your your mental for your spiritual you have the answers right in front of you you have you have you have a plan a guide that is written right in front of you and that's the bible okay that's the bible if okay so like we're supposed to be like we're supposed to be christians right and our our faith is set in jesus christ our faith is set in Jesus Christ, but when these when these things when these troubles come along, what happens to Jesus? <laughs> like, what happens? Well, like, is he just did he just leave? Like, did he is he like do we not care about him anymore, or or do we like forget about him? Like, I don't even I don't even know. Cause like, it's just like. When we when we came to Jesus Christ, you know, our 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 first our our main priority was Jesus. <laughs> was Jesus. Like nothing else, nothing else mattered, you know what I'm saying? Nothing else mattered but Jesus. But then when you start when these troubles start coming your way, which is understandable. I like I understand like <laughs> life can be hard, like for real. Life can definitely be hard, but are we forgetting about Jesus? Are we forgetting about the plans that that God has for us? Are we forgetting about all that stuff? Like, I understand, like, ah, man, I'm not going to get riled up today. No, sir. No, sir. I'm not getting riled up today. I'm just saying, like, we, we, I'm, I'm speaking to myself. <laughs> like, don't take this as, don't take this as me yelling at, I'm, I'm yelling at myself. <laughs> Did I forget about Jesus? Come on, man. And so I just want to say, like, just real quick, that like I think there are three, there are three like major, major, major things that we must do to maintain our composure, to maintain our faith. And that is that is like I got my notes, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Keep it, keep it, keep it on set, keep it on, you know what I'm saying? Anyways. Um, so three, three crucial things to the Christian life, to the Christian faith is to read and apply the Bible, pray, and to repent. That last one got y'all skirming like, oh, we got to, re- oh no, I don't want to repent. No, no, we got to repent. So let me, I'm going to go through all these, these three real quickly, or it might not even be real quick. We'll see, but let me get some coffee. That is some good stuff. Drink coffee, but make sure you're drinking water. Okay, let's... Oh, my notes went away. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I said read and apply the Bible. Um, pray and repent. Okay, so read and apply the Bible. Okay. So let's say like you have a a pie chart. Okay, I'm going off... I'm going completely off my nose this was not planned so let's see if this is let's see if this is a good thought so let's say you have a pie chart and the pie chart uh focuses on everything that you focus <laughs> the pie chart focuses on everything that you focus on so let's say like you have like for me <clears throat> i have my job i have my family I have my friends i have my music i have my podcast i have my youtube videos i have my merch these are all things some things that that have money, <laughs> you know. What I'm saying, don't forget that we've been thinking about money sometimes. Um, so all those things are things that are filled up in my brain. There's definitely more. There's my faith, of course. There's Jesus Christ. All these things are uh, filling up in my brain. And uh, and the trouble, like, let me just. 
and the troubles of my life are also in there. Okay, so all those things are fill up, filled up in my mind. They're taking space. They are occupying my mind, right? So what a pie chart does is it shows the, uh, the percentage of how much is how much of that part is of the full and i don't know if that made sense but you know what a pie chart is you know what a pie chart is um so let's say i am not reading the bible at all zero zilch nada i am not reading the bible at all so what that's going to do is whatever part whatever other parts of that pie chart are going to take more control they're going to be they're going to be a bigger slice in the pie charts and so I'm going to be what I'm saying is I'm going to be focused more on those things rather than reading and applying the Bible. And so what that does is it changes the, tra the trajectory, the trajectory of your thoughts and of your actions. Right. If I'm not reading and applying the Bible, <laughs> I mean, it's right there. I'm not reading and applying the Bible. I'm probably not going to love people. I'm probably not going to love Jesus. Uh, and I'm probably I'm probably going to commit a, a, quite a bunch, quite a bunch of sins. Right. And so that's not the life. That's, that's not the life that I want to live. So the reason that, that the reason that we read the Bible is one so that it can occupy more of our minds. So you can definitely like read the Bible and then not apply it, but still reading, still reading is definitely good. But the important part is that we apply what is in the Bible. One thing that I'm focusing on right now is living by the fruit, the one fruit of the spirit, because I feel like, man, the fruit of the spirit, that's such, such I'm going to put it down like. I might put it down right here because that that scripture right there is like just chef's kiss. Just beautiful. And so and also like Jesus, Jesus was a teacher. He wasn't just like a like a, a prof, a prophet. You know, he was actually like teaching people. Them parables was going hard and they are they can be su they can be such an impact to your life and that. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just a lot. You know what I'm saying? So one is read and apply the Bible. Two is pray. The second one is pray. Let me get some more coffee because man, this stuff is good, man. Okay. So two is pray. So why do we pray? Let me tell you the reason why I pray. <laughs> Um, so when you, whenever you pray, the, the, the dope thing about prayer is that like, we're talking about, like, we're going through stuff and things are occupying our mind. When we pray, when we, when we pray to God, not only are we like just talking to God, but we're like actually releasing that stuff to him. Like, I'm a big fan of just like being straight and like being straight and real with God. Like the way that I talk in this podcast it's the way that I talk to God because that's just that's just the way that I talk, right? I don't want to I don't want to come God with come to God with all this fake stuff. You know what I'm saying? That that and that's just that's just personal preference for me. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's just personal preference for me. Like, you can do whatever you want, but me, like me, I'm trying to be as real with God as I can because first of all, God already knows who I am. He already knows who I act. So what's the point of faking? What's the point of changing my per, per, my personality? You know, you know, <laughs> I just went off. But so anyways, yeah. So we when, whenever you pray, you are releasing that you're like we can be so bottled up with all this stuff that's happening in the world. But whenever you pray, you are releasing that stuff out. And that is so important. Like um, if you have ever seen like, I don't know, you know, you know, people who like just keep stuff that's bottled in all the time. And then one day, one day they just burst. They just go crazy. They go crazy. <laughs> and then it's like, it's just this whole, this whole huge thing because they, they kept those things bottled up for years. Like I've heard, I've heard like in marriage, uh, like the significant other, like they'll just like let some stuff go. That's really bothering them, but they'll, they'll let it go. Like they'll let it pass. And then they, they just keep on letting these things slide. And then one day they're just like, you know what? I'm tired of you. I'm going to divorce you and all this, you know, all this stuff. 
So, I mean, it's important to like release those things to other people, but it's so important to release it to God because God's the only one that can really change things. Am I right? Can I get an amen? <laughs> uh, so it's, yeah, prayer really releases that stuff out of you and it just, it just brings you uh, a whole moment of peace. You know what I'm saying? And also, um, any kind of conversation with God is considered prayer and Whenever you whenever you pray to God, it is it is helping you to to develop a more personal relationship with him. Like I said, like whenever I pray, I try to be straight up with God. I talk in the terminology that I use. Uh, what's it called? The phon- phonetic. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a scholar, but I talk to God how I how I how I talk. Now, obviously, I'm more reverent to God because, you know, God is <laughs> almighty. God is Oh, I thought I was wearing my Omni shirt, but God is Omni, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, but I talk to God, like I talk to God in a personal, in a personal matter because God is a personal God, you know what I'm saying? So it just develops your relationship, uh, your relationship with God. And that's, that's like one of the goals is to have like a personal relationship with God, not just to have like a, a superficial, you know, relationship with God, but to have a personal a personal relationship with God, you know? So two is pray. And three, three, this is the one that, that be getting people messed up. <laughs> this is the one. This is the one. Uh, so three, repent, repent, repent. Now repent is, it means to turn away from your old, from your old self, to turn away from those things that are not like God. Okay, not like Jesus, not like the Holy Spirit. Um, so I, I, <laughs> I am one of those people who feel like, you know, like I'm not gonna say like this all the time, but sometimes I feel like, man, like I can do no wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. I'm kind. I'm kind of kidding, but there are people in this world who feel like. One, they feel like grace just covers all things, and which it does, which it does. Um, I f- personally, I feel like everyone in the world, whether you're unsaved or whether you're you're saved, are living under grace uh, because, granted, like you're still alive and you still have a chance to come back to God. That's that's grace right there. But also, um, I forgot where I was going. I forgot where I was going. But what I wanted to say is that repentance is such a big eye opener. Like. <laughs> like it exposes you to yourself. Like whenever I pray, I ask God like to forgive me for the things that I knew that I did, uh, but also for him to forgive me for those things that I didn't know that I did and praying that he exposes those things to me so that I can turn around from those things and just just get rid of them. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just trying to like, I, I feel like repentance is so big because um Oftentimes we, we feel like we're perfect. Like we're, we feel like we're indestructible and we are not at all. <laughs> like the only reason why we're still alive is because of Jesus. Like, come on now. Like everyone, everyone is experiencing, everyone is, a, a, is, is a product of grace. Like even like if you're unsaved, whether you're saved or unsaved, you are still in this world and you still have a chance to come to Jesus. You still have it like right now you have a chance to come to Jesus. And that's to me, that's that's an example of grace. That's just that. But that's just me, though. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. But um, anyways, yeah. And and the, the last point that I want to make about this is um, repentance is so important because. OK, so I'm, I'm trying not to come out as insensitive or whatever, but. Okay, so let's say that someone someone gets killed unjustly. Someone let's just say someone gets killed unjustly. And we pray for those people. We feel, we pray for the people that are impacted. <clears throat> we pray for the people that are um that are that is that see it in that experience it. <clears throat> um but so you can have these things happen and um I'm, I'm telling y'all, man, I'm trying not to, uh, I don't want to 
you know, cause a riot. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to cause a riot. But let's say like, okay, something happens, right? And people have witnessed it. They see it on video, whatever. And they say, we want justice. And if we don't get any justice, we there will be no peace. We are going to do exactly what y'all did to that person. We are going to do that same thing. And I'm not saying like uh, that everyone is thinking like that, has thoughts like that, but a lot of people do. When you say no justice, no peace, you go out and something happens and you go out and just cause a scene, a huge scene. And and I like me, I can understand, I can stay, I can understand the feeling behind that. I can I can definitely understand the feeling behind that. But what, at what point do you say? Can you say we want justice, but then you do something and you don't want justice for yourself? Whoa. <laughs> Look, I'm just saying like, at what point, like, let's say you have a list of sins. The Bible says that all sins are the same, but let's say that you have a list of sins. Like you have a, like a, like a, um, what's it called? Like when things, like you have a ranking of sins, right? At what point do you say, okay, if I do this, then I deserve punishment. If I do this, then I deserve punishment. But if I do this, no, I I don't deserve, I don't deserve whatever y'all want to give me. I do not deserve it. At what point do you say, do you say, I, I don't, I need justice or I don't need justice. At what point, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're going to call, if you're going to call for these things, then you better call for justice in your own life. If you go out and say, if you go out and commit petty, th well, I don't know, I don't even know what petty theft means, but it sounds small. If you if you go out and steal like a candy bar from a grocery store, then if you're saying no justice, no peace for those other things, then you better believe, you bet, you better not complain if someone steals something from you. I'm just saying. That's why the call to repentance is so strong because we have to see ourselves as not it's not bigger than any other person because they're committing different sins, right? Just because they're committing different sin than you doesn't mean that you're not doing your own your own dirt, your little own grimy stuff. You know what I'm saying? They committed they committed their thing. They're gonna get their just their their just justice. <laughs> they're gonna get their like God is a vengeance. God is the Lord of vengeance, right? He's gonna he's gonna work that out, right? He's gonna work that out, whether it be on earth or whether it be somebody else, somewhere else. I don't know, but God is the one that's going to work those out. We can call for justice. We can call for people to to get their their right, like what we feel is right, what we feel that they deserve. But if you're gonna do that, do that in your own life too. When you treat someone with with disrespect best like if someone treats you with disrespect back don't be surprised don't be surprised take it in if you're gonna like you, i feel like this we have to be 100 you know what i'm saying we got to be 100 with ourselves be 100 with other people you know like they say like they say keep that same energy that's that's the point that i'm trying to get across is keep that same energy right <laughs> I sorry that was just like this is this is something that's been boiling in my head like you know it's whatever bro, but um so yeah that's that's I think that's all I wanted to talk about I just wanted to just just a quick recap recap <laughs> recap just a quick excuse me quick recap um we have we have three uh, tools that we that we should use daily uh, for the Christian faith, and that is read and apply the Bible, pray, and repent. If you do those things, those are three basic things that every Christian needs to do. Um, one to maintain their faith, and two just to live just to live a better a better and more abundant life. If you're reading and applying the Bible, um, people always talk about prosperity gospel, and although there's some there's some, you know, iffy things in there. Uh, I don't, I don't think that God is not a God of prosperity. I mean, <laughs> you know, that could just be me. That could just be me. But I feel like God didn't say you need to be poor. 
But that's a whole nother, I just saw a wasp outside, but that's a whole nother thing. Um, so yeah, those three simple instructions, three simple guides to lead a full life of faith. Um, but the important thing is that you have to be serious about all three. Like it could be easy to pray. It could be easy to um, read the Bible, but applying applying the Bible and repenting are the hard things. They're the really, really, really hard things. So yeah, thank you for tuning into this episode. Uh, if you didn't know already, we have new shirts out called that say, I am essential on the top with John 316. God came down. Uh, God sent Jesus down from heaven to earth. He came from heaven to earth to show the way from to the cross. My death pain from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, we lift your name on high. That's, that song is so tough. But anyways, Jesus came down from heaven to die for people that didn't deserve it and what that shows to me is that we are essential that we are important to god that we are so important to god that he would come down and die for us john 3 16 um so yeah go check those out they just say i am essential with john 3 16 go cop that because um what that can do is that can really start uh, opportunities. It can really open up opportunities to share the gospel with someone who reads it because they'd be like, what does that mean? I am essential. And there's a verse like, that's like, if you think about it, that's like, that's weird. That's, that's like, it's kind of different. So yeah, go pop that, go cop that. Not just uh, wear it on your chest. You feel me? Wear it on your chest. Um, but not just so that you can like just rock that freshness, but also so that you can have opportunities to share the gospel of jesus christ so yeah um the link will be in the bio for that and thank you so much for tuning to this episode if you're listening to this on um like apple Podcasts or something please leave a comment please leave a leave a review share it with a friend if you're watching this on youtube um co- please like comment subscribe and share it with a friend and uh yeah i will catch you guys next time thank you so much love you all and yeah see you next time peace out